Hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to do a review of the Rock Bros bike bag. I bought this bag a few weeks ago because I was planning on doing a, a bike trip and I really wanted to be able to access my GoPro from, from an easy way. I was very reluctant to buy it because I just didn't want to buy more throwaway junk you know that, that I'm going to spend money on and throw it away it's bad for the environment all that. But I find it, finally ended up buying it because I just didn't find anything else that would fit my needs. I was trying to find stuff at um, the Goodwill and things like that, but it never quite worked out. I ended up buying this for $20 shipped from Amazon.com, which is extremely cheap. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to get one. You know, it's not really one of those things that are real fancy that you're going to be super proud of, that you're, you're getting a uh, handmade bag or something from uh, California, but... Here, here's my review on it anyway, so you can decide if you want to get one. Real quick, the size of the bag is about 10 inches, 10 inches wide, and you could say probably about 6 inches tall. It's in a, it's a rounded shaped bag, so if you look at it from the side, it has kind of a, a rounded shape to it. The bag does come in two colors, this black and kind of an olive green. Of course, I just went with the black. Now, I should mention this one's slightly modified. These, uh, this logo here and here were gold, but I just blacked those out because I really didn't care for them. And I blacked them out, blacked them out using this uh, paint marker kit. Of course, using the black marker. Very easy. It seems to be holding up after a couple weeks of use. The fabric in the bag itself is is quite soft, as you can see. You can kind of smush it up if if need be. And of course it has a zipper open at the top. In terms of pockets, there really isn't much. You have a pocket here on the side, which is actually quite handy, which is actually very handy. What I did is I stuck my uh, granola bars in there and just kind of had one or two sticking up and I can just grab them out as I wanted to eat them. It is, however, just on one side. This side just has a nylon strap. Maybe you can hook something to it. I should also mention on the outside here, you have this kind of um, paracord uh, with a uh, stopper. I just kind of tucked it in like that because it was actually, before I did that, it was easily contacting my tire. So I just tucked it away, as you just saw. But I'm actually thinking I'm gonna take it off because I really just don't see any need for it right now. Just to reduce the confusion, take a few grams off the bike. So I'm probably gonna remove that. Here's what the inside looks like. It's just a cyl cylindrical shape. Like I said, about 10 inches the inside. Uh, about, you know, in terms of the height and stuff, that's my fist in there. I have a bit of wiggle room still. Holds surprisingly a lot. I do, I do not believe this is water resistant, I should mention. It also has a little gripper here, which is nice for opening and closing. You can, I was able to do it with one hand though while on the bike. As you can see. And I did that quite a few times on my latest ride. The inside volume is rated at 2 liters, by the way. In terms of the installation, it really couldn't be much easier. You just have these two Velcro straps. Um, I did have to cut mine to get them to the uh, right length. They're quite extra long, which is good because if you need them to be longer, that's, that's fine. But I just cut them off with some scissors, no problem. They hook around these two nylon straps on the bag itself. And also on the bottom, I used uh, another one from the back, another one of the nylon straps, just to go around my uh, cables and hoses, just to kind of secure it a little bit better. That said, it is just pressing down on those hoses and cables, brake hoses and cables, so it's not like it's a, a super secure mounting um, situation. It's basically just kind of setting on that structure, which when you get into the inside does kind of give it a bit of a, a shape right there. You can, you can see that it's not a perfect cylinder because of that shape right there. The only downside I've really found to the bag so far is of course it's not water resistant. It's not rated to be water resistant, although I'm sure a small rain will be fine. It's kind of a sealed zipper situation, but uh, I think if it's a heavy downpour, everything will get wet inside. But the biggest thing is, is I was going to put on my bike computer one day and I realized if I have that on here, I'm not gonna be able to access this very easily. Obviously you can still kind of bend it down and, and you can get into there, but it'd be much harder if you have a computer of any sort up top. Other than that, I'm actually really liking the bag and I was, I was debating originally whether I wanted to get it or not. And uh, I have to say, I'm really happy that I did. It's just, um, it's been super handy to grab anything I need, either from the side here or inside the main pocket as I'm riding. 
here's a little bit of a view as what it looks like from behind the bars. Now what we're going to do now is play a game of what can we fit into the bag. Uh, first I'll start off with what I have been fitting into it. What I have been fitting into it so far is, while I'm not using the bike, it typically will have just some gloves in it, maybe some sunglasses. This is kind of just so when I want to ride I'll have this ready for me. But the last ride I did, what I had in it was a miniature pump while riding. Very easy, just fits right in there. Um, and I've been mainly my GoPro though, so I was doing a pretty big ride and I wanted to be able to grab that out when I wanted, you know, to record something. Blah, 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 blah. And stick it back in pretty easily. And I usually just left it open because it wasn't a very rough ride. It was mostly paved surfaces, so it was just fine leaving it open. But if I wanted to close it, you know, I could obviously do that too. But it was really actually extremely nice and handy. I could, I could get that out in no time. So that's what I've been using it for. But I decided to grab a couple other items that other people may want to use it for. So for instance, you might want to put a water bottle in just a standard, what is it, uh, 500 milliliter, 16.9 9 ounces. That does fit. Now I haven't done this yet, so <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna fit, but yes, that looks like that's gonna fit. But that looks like that's gonna fit, no issue. Okay, it has the tire pump plus the water bottle. Let's see if I can put this big old uh, soup, this instant instant cook kind of, kind of soup in here. Uh, yes, but it's not gonna zip, at least not with that tire pump in there. Now if we take this tire pump out, maybe. Yes, it's a little tight, but it fits. <laughs> All right, but maybe you'll want to put a banana in there very gently. Yeah, that easily fits. You could also put your pump in there at the same time. Maybe you could fit some gloves in addition. What else do I have? A few keys I can probably fit in there. Maybe some sunglasses? Yeah, I don't want to smash up my banana. But yeah, that looks like that at all. Looks like that all fits pretty good and fine. And as you can see, it's not really uh, falling down or anything. That actually is totally fine. So sunglasses, gloves, bike pump, keys, and banana. Okay, I think that'll pretty much do it, folks, for my review of the Rock Bros Bike Bag. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below.